Hello students, let us learn how to work with slides. In the previous chapter, you learned about the basics of PowerPoint presentation. Like what is a presentation, in what ways it is useful for us and how to create a beautiful and effective presentation. Now, in this chapter, you will learn some more features that will help you in making a presentation more presentable. Let us first learn how to add a slide to presentation. While creating a presentation, sometimes you need to insert new slides in it. Whenever you insert a new slide, first select its layout. Slide layout refers to the general arrangement of various components on a slide. It contains placeholders that hold text, titles, bulleted list and other objects such as tables, charts, images, movies and sound clips. To add a new slide, select the slide after which you want to add a new slide. If you want that the new slide should have the same layout as that of the previous one, then click on the new slide button in the slides group on the home tab. If you want your new slide to be based on any other slide layout, click on the new slide drop down arrow. Select the desired slide layout. PowerPoint will add a new slide with the selected layout in the slides pane. It can also be seen in the slides navigation pane on the left. Changing slide layout. You can also change the layout of the existing slide that matches your requirement. To do so, follow the given steps. Select the existing slide in the Slides Navigation pane. Click on Home, then go to Layout and then select the required layout. Ok, let us learn how to delete a slide now. To delete a slide from your presentation, do the following. Right click on the slide in the slides navigation pane that you want to delete and then click on the delete slide option or select the slide and press the delete key. Ok, let me tell you how to format text in a slide. Applying formatting effects to a text can draw the attention of your audience to specific parts of a presentation and emphasize on important information. Similar to Word 2019, PowerPoint also provides several formatting features to beautify the text on a slide. Let us discuss some of these features. Increase font size button, decrease font size button, bullets, font, text shadow button, change case, numbering. Ok, let us talk about changing font style. Select the text to be formatted. Click on the font drop down arrow in the font group on the home tab. Select any font style from the drop down list and observe the change. Also notice that to create a duplicate slide, select the slide and press Ctrl plus D key combination. Let us learn how to change font size now. There are two ways to change the font size of the text. Method 1. Select the text. Click on the font size, drop down arrow in the font group on the home tab and select the desired font size. Method 2. Click on the increase font size button or decrease font size button in the font group to increase or decrease the font size respectively. Let me tell you that the layout can be modified in normal view or slide sorter view. Let us learn how to change font case now. Select the text. Click on the change case drop down arrow in the font group on the home tab. Select any desired case from the displayed list of options. Let us learn how to change alignment now. Alignment refers to the placement of the text on a slide. You can adjust the horizontal as well as vertical alignment of the text to change how it is displayed on the slide. Let me tell you about changing vertical alignment. Select the text. Click the drop down arrow of the Align Text button on the Home tab in the Paragraph group. Select the desired option from the menu that opens. Let us learn how to change horizontal alignment now. You can align the text horizontally by selecting the text and choosing any one of the desired options like Align Left, Align Right, Center, Justify available in the Paragraph group on the Home tab. Let us learn how to create bulleted and numbered list. To create bulleted and numbered list, select the paragraph on which you want to apply bullets or place the cursor at the location where you want to apply the bullets. Click on the drop down arrow of the bullets or numbering button in the paragraph group on the home tab. Select the desired style from the displayed gallery. 
Let us learn how to apply indents now. To apply indentation, follow the given steps. Select the paragraph that you want to indent. Drag the left indent marker towards the right side. It will increase the indentation. To indent the first line of a paragraph, drag the first line indent marker towards the right side. Let us find out how to use Format Painter. Just like in Word, Format Painter allows you to copy the formatting effects from one object to another in PowerPoint too. It picks up all the formatting from your first object, whether it is a shape, picture or piece of text and applies it to the another one. To copy the formatting effect, Select the text with the formatting you want to copy. Click on the Format Painter button in the Clipboard group on the Home tab. The pointer changes to a paintbrush icon. Now hold down the mouse and drag over the text on which you want to apply the effect and release the mouse button. PowerPoint 2016 In the same way, you can insert a new slide and format the text on it in PowerPoint 2016. Ok, let me share some interesting shortcut keys. Press Ctrl plus T to open font dialog box. Increase the font size either by using the shortcut keys Ctrl plus Shift plus greater sign or Ctrl plus square bracket close. Decrease the font size either by using the shortcut Ctrl plus Shift plus smaller sign or Ctrl plus square bracket. Now let me tell you how to insert objects in a slide. You can add different objects in the slide to enhance its look and feel. Interesting word art. The word art feature helps you to create special or decorative text. It gives a unique look to the text. Using the word art, you can make the text curved, wavy, shadowed or apply 3D effects, etc. On the Insert tab, click on the word art button in the text group. The word art gallery opens up on the screen as shown in the figure. Select any word art style. Type Kip's presentation in the placeholder by replacing the text. Your text here. Now select this text. Click on the text fill drop down arrow in the word art styles group on the format tab. Select the desired color and observe the change. Click on the text outline drop down arrow. Choose the desired outline color from the displayed list. Now click on the text effects drop down arrow. Point to the glow option and select the desired effect from the glow variation section and observe the changes in the text. Now let us learn how to insert text box. Sometimes you may have to add more text than the area provided for entering text in the slide. The text box tool present on the insert tab gives facility to add more text to your slide. Text box is a placeholder where you can enter and manipulate text. You can move the text box along with its contents anywhere on the slide. Click on the text box tool in the text group on the insert tab. Hold down the left mouse button while dragging the mouse diagonally towards right and release the mouse button. You will get a rectangular box on the slide with cursor inside it. Enter the text. Say, this is a text box. Students know that if the text is long, it automatically adjusts and shifts text to the next line, keeping the box area in view. Let us learn how to insert pictures now. It is rightly said that a picture is worth a thousand words. Image of a subject conveys its meaning more effectively than a description does. We can insert pictures in a presentation from a file on the computer as well as pictures from the internet called online pictures. Let us first learn how to insert pictures from a file. Click on the insert tab. Select the pictures option. This device option in the images group or the Insert Pictures dialog box appears. Select the desired picture and click on Insert. Selected picture will be added in the slide. Students, let us find out how to insert online pictures. Click on the Insert tab. Select the Pictures option, then go to Online Pictures option in the Images group or click on the Pictures, then go to Online Pictures. The Online Pictures dialog box appears. Type a search term in the Bing image search box, say computer. Gallery of images related to the search term will be displayed. You can refine your search on the basis of size, type and color of the object. Select the desired image and click on the insert button. The image will appear on the selected slide. 
Now let us learn how to insert shapes. Shapes is a drawing feature that helps in inserting different shapes into a slide. Shapes can be resized, rotated, flipped and colored too. Click on the shapes option in the illustrations group on the insert tab. You will see different categories like lines, rectangles, flowcharts etc. Select a shape. The pointer changes to A plus sign. Bring the pointer on the slide where you want to place the object. Click and drag the mouse to draw. Release the mouse once completed. Now let us learn how to add text in a shape. Right click on the shape and select edit text from the shortcut menu. The insertion point appears inside the shape. Now you can type the text inside the shape. Students note the fact that you can select more than one shape object by holding the shift key and clicking on the required object. Also notice that to remove any shape, select it and press the delete key. Let us learn how to apply shadow effects in shapes. You can apply shadow effects to any shape. It will make the shape impressive in apparent. Select a shape. Click on the shape effects button on the home tab in the drawing group. Select the shadow option from the drop down menu. Click on the offset center option in the outer sub option in the cascading menu. The selected effect will appear on the shape. Students note that you can also apply shadow effects by using the format tab. Click on the format tab then go to shape styles group then go to shape effects button and then go to shadow option. Students let me share a tip with you. To choose a shadow color, select the shadow option from the shape effects, then go to shadow drop down menu. The format shape task pane appears. Now, define the desired color and click on the close button on the task pane. PowerPoint 2016 In the same way, you can also add the various objects in PowerPoint 2016 presentation, like shapes text box, word art and pictures by using the insert tab and format the objects by selecting the various options from the format tab. Now let us understand how to rotate an object. To rotate a picture or any other object follow these steps. Select the picture, shape, word art or text box that you want to rotate. A rotation handle appears at the top of the object. Click on the rotation handle and drag it in the direction in which you want to rotate the shape. You can also rotate a picture on an object using the rotate option. For this, select the object and click on the format tab. In the arrange group, click on the rotate button. Choose the desired rotation option from the drop down menu. Apart from rotating an image, you can flip it by using the flip horizontal or flip vertical option. Students, let us learn how to resize an object. To adjust the size of an object or picture, follow these steps. Select the object that you want to resize. Bring the pointer to any of the 8 resizing handles on the selected object. When the pointer changes to a double-headed arrow, drag the handle inward to decrease and outward to increase the size of a shape. If you want to resize the object by keeping the center of an object in the same place, then hold down the control key as you drag. Alright students, let us understand how to insert 3D models. In PowerPoint, you can add some additional objects like icons and 3D models. Let us learn how to add 3D models in a PowerPoint presentation. To add a 3D model to your presentation, follow the given steps. Click on the Insert tab and select the 3D models in the Illustrations group. From the drop-down menu, select Stock 3D Models or from Online Sources. The online 3D models dialog box will open. Choose a category, for example, space. Then select a 3D model of your choice and double click on it to insert in a slide. Ok students, let us take a recap of this chapter. A slide layout refers to the general arrangement of the various components on a slide. We can add different objects in the slide to enhance its look and feel. The word art feature helps you to create special text effects. It gives a unique look to the text. Text box tool helps in adding more text than the area provided for entering text in a slide. 
We can insert pictures in a presentation from a file on a computer as well as pictures from the internet called online pictures. Shapes is a drawing feature that helps in inserting different shapes into a slide. We can rotate and resize any object in a presentation. In PowerPoint 2019, you can add some additional objects like icons and 3D models.